Hello everyone, this is the third video on Google Colab. So in this tutorial, let's take a look at a different set of run times provided by Google Colab. And let's learn how to do a simple benchmark using Cloud Mesh tools. So let's get started. Open the sample Colab notebook. So this is a Colab notebook we used already so let's see everything is working fine we installed numpy last time and we imported it and create a random array and see whether it works so it just works fine so here in Google Colab you have a tab for runtime just go and click it and here you can see different options so we'll be interested in looking at this option change runtime type so just click it and here you can see the notebook settings so in this notebook settings you have the runtime type and hardware accelerator so the runtime type we used here is like python 3 we recommend you to use python 3 not python 2 so in this class we'll be supporting only python 3 and the hardware accelerator used here it's none and there are other options gpu and tpu so none can be basically a CPU uh, so we use this one and just save this and we didn't do any change but let's say if we change it to TPU or GPU and meaning we change the existing runtime so what you have to do is you have to go here restart the runtime because you change your runtime so here we didn't do any change but still we are going to restart to show uh, how to get it done so here we just rerun all the programs Okay, you can install and import numpy, create random array, and you show what the random array is. Okay, let's create a new one. So, doing benchmark, we introduced the Cloud Mesh tool called Stopwatch. To use that, first you need to install Cloud Mesh Common. So, you use pip install Cloud Mesh. Okay, now you have installed Cloud Mesh Common. So let's get started. First, you need to import this uh, package. Let's uh, install Okay, so this is the stopwatch class that we are going to use in this tutorial so it's in the uh, common package of uh, cloud mesh so let's say we have to create a simple program let's say we create a simple for loop so I would say for I in range 0 to 10 and I just print out I so it's going to show you like uh, the values recorded here so we can do something complex here maybe we can say range let's say 10,000 and we'll do something like this so we have this value here sum equals zero and I'm gonna sum up sum equals sum plus i times j plus 32 then I'm going to print the value okay um, I think there are two if I have time syntax error so it works and okay this is the value so let me increase this value a bit yeah it runs for a while and you get the value here so let's say you want to measure the time taken to run this process so I would just go here and I use this class and I would say star stopwatch star here what you have to do is like you label so let's say this is uh, like a sample code of uh, checking the loop time so I would say loop time so you started the stopwatch meaning you have to stop the stopwatch when you 
needed. So I'm going to go here and say stop. You have to make sure you have the same label in these things because you are just measuring the time for a given task. So this is the task, this is the nested loop. So I name the task as loop time and you make sure uh, when you start with the given label, you stop with the same label, otherwise it's going to give you an error. Okay, it works. So uh, we have successfully added that one. So now the important thing is to see the results. Now you need to check, uh, take a look at the results. So what I would do is like I'll type stopwatch. And search for the command it's benchmark. And I press shift enter. So the nice uh, feature with this tool is you are given all these attributes the machine you use the version of Ubuntu and all the information about the Ubuntu OS that you have been using and the memory active memory available and all these things the memory used and you also given the node name the platform type and the process type processor name and the Python version you used uh, and other tools related with that so and it also shows some other information regarding the versions that we have used so the important thing here is this part the timer uh, we named the timer type loop time and the time it took is like 1.709 and it says the date it started as well so let's say uh, if you did this benchmark on a different day you will use it the correct date here uh, and this is the system if you use Mac there will be Mac version Windows there will be Windows version uh, so these are the detailed information provided by this benchmark suite so what you d just did was using the pre-compiled and pre-installed cloud mesh common library you use the stopwatch class to run this simple example to measure the time uh, and let's see here we just use the none uh, hardware so let's take a look at the other hardware change the runtime type so for instance I'll change it to GPU save it so I change it so I need to restart the runtime so I'll click here say yes so it took 1.709 seconds previously let's see how uh, how much time it takes in uh, GPU so let me run all these command correctly so it will run for a while then I check the sound and run the stop watch benchmark command again so you can see the time is a little bit less but we didn't do any GPU intensive task so the time is a little bit improved but uh, it can be the ha hardware performance basically uh, you can analyze the memory free memory available and these factors and you can see why it happened so in a future tutorial we can explain all these things by doing an extensive benchmark then we work with deep learning frameworks which takes a lot of time to train the program so you can do a thorough benchmark and see how uh, this benchmark suite can be used to measure the data loading time training time testing time and any other specific uh, miscellaneous times associated associate with the program So these are the things that we want to discuss in this tutorial. So I hope you understand how to use uh, Stopwatch and do a simple benchmark with a uh, Cloud Mesh tool called Stopwatch. Uh, in the next tutorial, uh, let's see how to use these tools to do a simple benchmark on uh, deep learning tutorials.